Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's uh, Monday the 1st of July 2024. I hope you are keeping well. Welcome to Zen, uh, the Zen Sudoku channel. Um, <coughs> if this is your first time ever playing Sudoku, don't worry, I'll be giving you some instructions. This is a beginner level game, but easy level game that we play every Monday. And there are lots of other easy level games beginner level games on this channel so if you're new to sudoku welcome don't forget to hit the subscribe button never get enough subscribers on this channel um and uh i also like to talk about what's going on either with me or in the news or anything that's on my mind uh, that's why it has such a weird title what's going on today um is uh well Hungary is about to take over the EU presidency. Remember, we have six months between countries, six months per country, it kind of, and it rotates. And, uh, you know, uh, Orban has uh, so much thrown in his lot with Trump um, that he's decided that they're going to have a slogan, Make Europe Great Again. So not only do we have to put up with the mega nuts, nuts we're going to have the mega nuts as well. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Anyway, uh, we'll see what happens with that. So I should get on with the game of Sudoku. Sorry about the background noise. There's a lot of construction going on, and I can't, I've been wait I've been waiting to play this game because it's been very extra noisy. My neighbour's been have had her vacuum cleaner out, so <laughs> I can't do much about the noise. Uh, we've got one. Uh, we've got nine squares blocking. Uh, uh, block nine squares in every row uh, across. We've got nine squares in every column down, and we've got nine squares in each of these three by three blocks that you can see outlined in black. You will have noticed there are some numbers in these squares. There is only one number in each square. The lowest number is one. The highest number is nine. Why is that? Because there's only nine squares, right? Nine squares in a column, row, or block. What's the object of the game? Fill in the empty squares with numbers. I think you could have guessed that, couldn't you? How do we go about doing this? Do we guess? No, we do not guess. We use logic. Uh, basically, a yes or no style logic to say whether a number can go somewhere or not. We use the idea that a number can appear once only in its row or column or block and in fact let's look at that so we've got a one in this column already that means that nowhere else in this column can a one appear there are only nine squares we need to fit the numbers one to nine in <clears throat> and there's no room for another one we've got a one in this row here that means nowhere else in this row can a one appear now if you look at this block here we need a digit one for this block right and we can see it can't go in these three squares because of this one. It can't go in these three squares because of that one. We've got two, five, and eight filling up these squares. So there's only one place where it can go. It has to go there. I hope that made sense because we're going to use that idea again here. One blocks across here means forbids any other square from becoming a one. And the same thing here. And that leaves us a one in that square. Now look at this bottom row. It's very full, isn't it? There's only one empty square. What have we already got? One, two, three four five there's no six anywhere we've got the others seven eight nine so that's got to be a six to fill in this row and now we have our first row complete remember we've got to complete the whole grid what else can we do we've got two blocking down here and two blocking across here like this so that's going to put a two into <coughs> excuse me that square there we've got seven blocking down here like this so that's going to give us a seven and now there's only one number left for this block one two three four five again no six we've got seven eight nine so it has to be six that goes there we'll take that six that we just placed and we'll say six blocks across this row now we've also got six from up there which blocks down there so again in this section here this block here we can get a six now there are two empty squares. It's a good idea to see what when if you've only got two empty squares, it's a good idea to look and see what's missing. It may help you. We've got one, two, there's no three. We've got four, five, six, seven, and eight. There's no nine. So we know that these two squares must contain three and nine. If this is three, that will be nine. If this is three, that will be nine. Now we can actually see that up here we've got a three disallowing this square from becoming a three. So we know that three goes there. And 9 is in that square there, 
like so. Um, <clears throat> now, over on this side, we've got four blocking upwards, four blocking up there. There's our four. And uh, we've got three numbers missing here, three numbers missing here. We can investigate this. Uh, we, you, you'll find when you play Sudoku, you spend a lot of time looking and not much time filling. <laughs> oh, that's how I, that's what happens when I play the game anyway. We've got one, two, three. We don't have five. We don't have eight and we don't have nine. So these numbers are five, eight and nine. But we can't say which is which just yet because we don't have enough information. What we can say is three blocks up here and three blocks down there. So that's going to give us a three in that square there. Now, I want us to look at something else. Three blocks across here like this, right? And three blocks down here. So in this section here, <coughs> in this box here, where is the three? Is it here? Maybe. Is it there? Maybe. Which one? Don't know, but it's in one of those two squares. So it can't go anywhere else, can't appear in any of these squares, so we know it has to be here or here. So we know that the 3 is in one of these two squares. Now if the 3 is there, it's going to block down there, and if the 3 is there, it's still going to block down there. So this square here can't be 3. And now when we think about this 3 blocking down, well, it can't be 3 there, so we know that 3 must be in that square. So this is the kind of logic that we need to use to finish the game really. Um, one, two, three. Okay, when we look at the missing digits, in, there are four missing numbers. We've got one, we don't have two. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, actually let's just do this first make this a bit easier nine blocks down up there and nine blocks down there so let's put the nine in this square and then we've only got three missing numbers so we're looking for two four and five to finish this column okay so two four and five go in these squares here now when we look at this square here in the middle we ask ourselves can it be two maybe can it be four no can it be five? No. So it must be two because there's only three numbers missing. It's not four or five. So we're guaranteed that that is two. And now we've got our five blocking this square. So we know that the five is there and the four goes there. Hope that was clear. Now what about this row over here? There are uh, one, two, three missing numbers. One of the missing numbers is one. There's no digit one in this row, but when I see the one blocking this square and one blocking this square, I can say, well, then the one must appear over there, mustn't it? Uh, the missing numbers now in these two squares are six and eight. That's what we don't yet have. And if you look carefully down here, you'll notice the six. So this square can't be six. That has to be six. And that has to be eight. <clears throat> um, now, I hope this is not too tricky, but uh, I want to show you a little bit, of, a bit more, something a bit, uh, a little bit more advanced. Um, so we've got three and one here blocking across. And we've got 3 and 1 blocking down here. So in fact, we know that those squares contain 3 and 1 only. Okay, So that's two numbers. We know 3 and 1 are there. Uh, we don't know which is which, but we do know 3 and 1 are there. So it can't be anything else because, once again, 3 and 1 blocking like this. So these two squares must be 3 or 1. So if this is 3 or 1. So now if we consider 8 for this block, we can see the 8 blocking down here like this and we know that it can't be in either of those two squares so we know that 8 is there <clears throat> we know this is 3 and 1 so we know this has to be 2, 4 and 5 but we can't get these yet but we can get this square here now so I'll just say that again 3 and 1 are here All right? so we've got 1, we don't have 2, we've got 3, we don't have 4 
So 2, 4, and we don't have 5. So this is 2, 4, and 5. But we don't have enough information to say which is which. But we know that 2, 4, and 5 are in these three squares. So we can get this down here. What do we have in this, in this column already? We've got 1. We've got 2 somewhere there. We've got 3. We've got 4 somewhere here. We've got 5 somewhere here. We've got 6 there. But we don't have a 7. And so... We've got 8 and we've got 9, and so this has to be a 7 because this is 2, 4, and 5. Now, you could have looked at it in a slightly different way. You could have said 7 is in one of these two squares because there's only we don't have 7 in this block. 7 blocks down here, that will put 7 there. So you often find that there's more than one way to find the, the same digit. This is a 4 because it's the last number here. Uh, you will often find uh, multiple ways to find the same information. Right, let's move on. <clears throat> now we have 5 in this block here, and I see we're missing 5 in this column. So 5 blocks, remember, 5 blocks every other square in the block here. So this and this can't be 5. So that only leaves this square down here to be 5. Uh, and the missing numbers up here are 7 and 8, but we can't get those yet. We don't have enough information, so we just have to leave that. Let's have another look down here. What's missing down here? Uh, 8 and 9, and we can't get that yet, so we have to look elsewhere. So, as I said, this is a game of looking, really. Uh, what about the fact that we know that this is 7 and 8? We can now work out what goes here, because we know 7 and 8 are in those squares. This has to be 2 and 9, and still we can't get any more information there. But what we can say is, because we know that this is a 9 here or here, 9 will block down there, and that will give us 9 in that square there. If any of this is too fast because you've really never played the game before, just go back and watch watch the video again. Go, rewind it to whatever parts you need. 8 is here. Now we have 8 blocking up there, 8 across here, and 8 across there. That's going to give me an 8 there. <clears throat> uh, no complete digits yet. OK, so in this column, we don't yet have a 1. You'll see there's no digit 1. We've got 1 blocking this square and 1 blocking this square. Remember, all, square, all digit 1s are blocked from this section here. So a 1 must appear there. <coughs> Four stops this square from being a four, and we don't yet have a four in this column, so it must go there. And the last number for this column is a nine. There's no nine yet, so let's put the nine in there. Now we say nine across here and nine up there will give us nine there. <coughs> nine across here and across there gives us the final nine. What do I mean the final nine? Well, there are nine iterations of each digit on the board. Nine nines, 81, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine nines on the board. They are already done. There are no more digit nines to find. Everything else, one to, we're only looking for one to eight now because all digit nines are filled. <coughs> now we can get this for sure. Uh, if you remember, we had 7 and 8 in those squares for sure, all right? And so we know this is going to be a 2 now because that's the only number left. Then two blocks across here, two blocks up there, and that gives me a 2 there. And two blocks down here and across there, so there's another 2 that we can grab. And two blocks across here, across here, and up there. And now 2 is also finished. There are no more 2s. So 2 and 9 are finished. All the other numbers are still needed. Uh, where to look next? OK, in this row here, we don't. the missing numbers to go in these squares are 1, 3, and 5. We don't have 1, 3, or 5, and 1 and 3 are in the same column. So this square here, can it be 1? No. Can it be 3? No. Must be 5 then, mustn't it? 
and now our three blocks this square or this three blocks this square two two digit threes blocking the same square so we know the three is there and the one is there now one blocks this square here so that gives me a one there and that's the last digit one missing number here is a four <coughs> and four blocks oh uh, sorry four just blocks across there that's all we need so one two four and nine are finished now we're looking for the other numbers I know that we can get this because it's the last empty square in this column that's going to be a seven uh, six blocks across here that puts six into that square the last number here is a seven seven blocks across here that gives us a seven here and this is an eight Eight also blocks up there and gives us the final digit eight now the only numbers we have left to get are three five and six so when I see five and six in this block I without thinking I can say that must be a three uh, I could have searched the whole block but it's just a bit quicker to do it like that three blocks down here three blocks across there there is our three and now we're just missing five and six so for example in this column we have five already so I know that's going to be six so now I know that's going to be five and that's going to be six and that's going to be five and that's the game over that's your first sudoku puzzle uh, like i said lots of easy games on this channel you can practice with take care bye bye